Hello there, all you beautiful thrill seekers. My name is Ghost Shadow Stubborn, but built for theme parks, and welcome to Ghost Chat YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there, guys. My name is Ghost Shadow Stubborn, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. Now, this is a very important one. Now, do not adjust your TV sets. Do not adjust your YouTube screens. This is actually um, a, dis a big discussion video on a massive, massive topic. Now, I have been sent some information by an inside source. Now, I'm not going to say what this source is. I'm not going to say whether it's true or not. We're going to make our own judgments and share what I think to these rumours uh, from the inside source. And basically, it's on the next five years at Drayton Manor, officially from the Looping Group. Now, we're going to share all the information that the inside source has given me personally. Uh, obviously, for obvious reasons, I cannot say exactly who that is, who the inside source is. Uh, however, uh, it is some rumoured information on the next five-year plans for Drayton Manor. And apparently, overall, trust me, it's going to be good. Uh, now, before we get started with all of this uh, rumoured information from the inside source, make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. I'd love to get your thoughts on this. Uh, but make sure you comment once you've heard every bit of information we've talked about. Don't comment yet. Comment when we've sort of spoken about everything and shared my thoughts on it. Also, guys, make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another thrilling YouTube video. We're getting closer and closer to 2,100 subs. We're only a few subs off now, which is brilliant. Um, also, we're getting closer and closer to 600,000 views overall, which is great for a theme park channel. So please, please, please keep getting on the grind, keep getting on the views, keep getting on the nostalgia, and let's start some binge watching. Also, guys, check in the description down below where not only can you find the link to submit your video ideas, so if you've got an idea for a next five years video, a discussion topic, a debating topic, a review, uh, a fact file, a close but not forgotten, anything at all, please, please, please get it in the Google Forms link. Link's in the description down below. And not only that, if you want to follow me on my other social media platforms, you can find links to Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat. And for now, guys... Before you guys comment down below about what your thoughts are to this, just hang on and let's hear everything that's been said from the inside source in terms of the information around the next five years at Drayton Manor. So the Looping Group have finalised a five-year plan. That's the first major point from the inside source. Uh, now, here's the first sort of major attraction news. Uh, 2021 is apparently going to be the last operational year for Pandemonium and Apocalypse. Now, Pandemonium is the Fabry uh, Skyflyer type ride. We knew that was up for sale. We did a report on that. We knew that was up for sale. So it's apparently this year is set to be the last operating year for the Pandemonium attraction. And also Apocalypse, the Intamin Drop Tower. Uh, now, in terms of the rest of the information on this particular story, it is apparently set to be removed both rides in the off period at the end of 2021, paving way for a new major redevelopment for something compact yet family thrill. As for the major development, the inside source is not sure. A few rumours going round about the Batman coaster at Six Flags, so something compact that takes up more vertical space rather than ground space. He thinks... It's an SNS free spin coaster. If he's being honest, something compact. That's not confirmed it's going to be a free spin. But in terms of Batman coaster and Six Flags, I mean, there's rumours of Batman coaster and Six Flags. Are we going to see a free spin at Drayton Manor? Now, um, I'm going to talk about all my thoughts on each individual one. So, um,. I'm going to give you all the stats and facts first and then talk about my thoughts as well as sharing each individual site and sort of what I'm thinking about each site. Um, but that's apparently what's set to happen with Pandemonium Apocalypse, replaced by something compact and thrilling. Something maybe like a free spin coaster would be lovely. I'll talk more about that in my thoughts later on. Uh, but that is the first bit of information from this inside source, this first rumour. The next rumour is the is that Drayton Manor have bought a new family flat ride package to take up the old G4 space. The first of the two new rides is apparently expected to be 
in for the end of the 2021 season and from what the inside source has heard it's something similar to well and flug swing ride at florida state fair if you've never heard of that it's a wave swinger attraction it's the classic twirling toadstool style ride you know what i'm a big fan of that kind of kind of ride so it'd be great to see that at drayton manor um as well as that there's lots of general talk between guest hosts on the rides department that the second of the two new rides will be placed on the g4 site will be something similar to cobra at chessington perhaps a zamperla disco coaster as drayton seemed to favor zamperla as an attraction provider i'll tell you something now a wave swinger and a disco coaster if this is true I'd love to see that at the park. I know people will say, oh, wh why is there no coaster on GeForce's site? Well, first of all, technically, it, the Disco Coaster is a coaster, but not really. <laughs> not really. Um, but secondly, I think that two new rides is brilliant. It's perfect for the, for the family thrill market of Drayton Manor. Again, I'll talk more about that, my thoughts, later on. Um, now, the next piece of news from the inside source, the next rumor from the inside source, is that they can confirm the reopening of Splash Canyon with an estimated opening date of mid-April, so not far off the beginning of the season. He doesn't believe it will be titled Splash Canyon because of the sensitivity to the 2017 incident, plus there's current new theming being added to the ride area, a new queue line being built, as well as Shockwave's trap being repainted a different shade of blue, so we could be seeing a whole retheme of that area zone. One thing you can definitely say is Drayton's future is looking incredibly bright with Looping Group by their side. Amazing stuff there with that information. And finally, Old Pirates Adventure site was being examined and reviewed a couple of months back. Again, rumour has it the factory coaster from Zamperla may be making an appearance or it's certainly a competitor. It's mostly just rumours, but if management are having these conversations in the first place, it must be pretty serious planning. Zamperla is Drayton's go-to ride manufacturer. So that is all the information. Now let's go through it site by site and talk about my thoughts on each of the rumours. So number one is Pandemonium and Apocalypse replaced with a compact yet family thrill major redevelopment. Rumours going round of the Batman coaster at Six Flags thinking it could be an SNS free spin coaster. My giddy ante! Uh, if this is true, I'm going straight down to Drayton Manor in the next few years and I'm checking all of this out. Obviously, we have to take all of this with a pinch of salt. We can't confirm anything at this stage. This is just rumours and information from an inside source, an unnamed inside source that has sent me all... They sent all of this to me last night. And this is just a rumour at this stage. We can't confirm anything at this stage, but I'll tell you something now. Excitement surely is building for Drayton Manor. Because if it is a free spin then that is their first coaster since Accelerator, aka at the time, Ben 10 Ultimate Mission, opened back in 2011. My giddy ante. Now, if it is a free spin, I'm expecting a shorter layout than the Batman clones. However, they did mention the rumour of the Batman coaster at Six Flags, which could hint to a Batman the Ride clone or Joker clone, you know, from the Six Flags parks. And you know what? I think that the more outstretched layout, I'd rather go for the Batman the Ride layout rather than... Um, you know, the, 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 the Dragon Slayer at Adventureland and Iowa for this year, which is smaller than the Six Flags layout. Uh, Arashi and Nagashima Spine, I think that's the same layout as the Six Flags ones as well. Um, obviously, when I heard the Batman coaster at Six Flags is a rumour, I was kind of thinking, well, it's either going to be a free spin or it's going to be a clone of a B&M inverted coaster. Surely not. Surely not. Um, and it sort of took some time to sort of think about this and sort of think about... Um, that whole thing and sort of um I, I don't know it just sort of it's hard really because you sort of think well hang on a minute what what what, what could be it what could be it and i was sort of thinking about this and i was like you know what there is even though it's not a six flags there is a batman clone out there called lightning at kuwait entertainment city and you know what? It's actually not a more outstretched layout. It's quite, uh, it's quite a nice layout, but it's not too um, outstretched. And I was thinking, well, hang on a minute. Maybe Batman Coaster at Six Flags could relate to the Batman clone over at Kuwait Entertainment City that's up for sale at the minute. So maybe it could still be an inverted coaster. Maybe it is the free spin coaster. Either way, 
I, I would just be happy with either, to be honest, because I think a new roller coaster for Drayton Manor could be absolutely fantastic. Again, we have to take all this information with a pinch of salt, but I'll tell you something now, it's very exciting straight away. Next up, the Family Flat Rides Package, set to take up the G4 space, the Wave Swinger and the Disco Coaster. The Disco Coaster is set to open in the uh, beyond 2021, around 2022 probably, uh, if it is going to be, you know, these two new rides. Um, a Wave Swinger for the end of 2021, I'll tell you what, I'll take that, it's a good family attraction, brilliant family ride. Uh, you look at what Twilling Toastal did for Alton Towers and their family rides line up, a uh, really good long duration ride, it's got a long ride cycle, uh, it's got a long rideability history, you look at Twilling Toastal's history before it was removed from Alton Towers and not coming back. And overall, Drake Manor really are f focusing on the family thrill market. And, it's, and first of all, with the first one, and now this one, and the other stuff as well, it's nice to see investment going into the main part rather than just Thomas Land. And um, yeah, obviously, we knew about Thomas Land a little bit with the, the Hetty's teacups going in for apparently this year, but the area with the fire and everything, you know, has kind of screwed those plans over. The Thomas 4D film going in as well this year, apparently. So, you know, we, apart from that, there's nothing to do with Thomas Land in the next five years, which is lovely to see from a main main part point of view. Uh, but going back to the GeForce Potter line, I think overall this is just amazing. This is just going to be a wonderful investment for the park. Um, and I think the Disco Coaster as well. I mean, you can see on your screen how I've sort of set this out in terms of how I've set the path, uh, the sort of site out, the GeForce site. Um, I mean, you saw the site for the first one, the Pandemonium and Apocalypse site. That's very, very compact thrilling coaster type uh, but there's still room to stretch if you wanted to uh, with the g-force plot of land uh, you can see I've got the yellow circle and the red sort of shape <laughs> I'm not gonna say circle because it's a circle with a long rectangle at the end um, I put in yellow circle the way I think the wave swing will go in the yellow bit the disco coaster will fit nicely in the red bit and I think that'll be a nice couple of flat rides to add to Drayton Manor's lineup and I think that overall you know, you've got to look and think, well, hang on a minute, this could be, you know, amazing, amazing stuff. And I think both new rides will be brilliant fits for Drayton Manor if this is true. Next up, the information we've all been waiting for, Splash Canyon. Will not probably open a Splash Canyon, it may open a Splash Canyon Rapids. It may completely ditch the Splash Canyon entirely. However, um, fair play to Drayton Manor for completely changing this ride, adding new theming. Uh, let's go through that information again. Uh, a new queue line being built, uh, new theming added to the ride area. It, I think they're going to completely change this ride over the close season. And uh, Shockwave's trap being repainted a different shade of blue. So it could be a whole retheme of that whole area, which, to be honest, if true, you know, fair play against Drayton Manor for completely changing this area of the park. I think that ever since the Splash Canyon closed, and Shotway's sort of, you know, again, year by year gone by without it being removed. Um, I think overall, Shockwave and Splash Canyon's areas needed some new lease of life to sort of go along with Storm Force 10. If Shockwave and Splash Canyon gets the re refurbishments over the close season, and Splash Canyon reopens in April, and Shockwave gets this new shade of blue ready for the parks to open this year, um, you know, do, what does that mean? Does this mean that um, overall we're going to see... Um, you know, obviously the whole area redone. Do we mean Storm Force 10 is going to get a redo at some point in the future beyond the next five years? I mean, we don't know, do we? So it's going to be interesting to see what happens with that particular area of the park in terms of future investment. But it's nice to see they're not tearing out Splash Canyon. It's nice to see them just retheming it, giving it a whole new lease of life, debuting it as pretty much a brand new attraction. And overall, hopefully, it should be a great, great year for Splash Canyon to come back to. Finally, the Pirate Adventure site. This is for the rumoured Factory Coaster. And you know what? I was so excited when I was told this rumour of the Zampola Factory Coaster because if you've seen Drake Manor content on this channel before, you will know that I predicted a Factory Coaster to go in that building as one of the potential investments. I predicted a dart ride, one of those Garmendale dart ride systems, or... Um, I predicted the Factory Coaster by Zampilla. If you don't know what that is, it's a wonderful ride experience from the looks of it. I've seen videos of it online on Zampilla's website. It just looks amazing. Um, and overall, you know, I'm just a huge fan of this potential investment. I think that 
uh, with the 3D effects, give it a nice pirate theme. You know, overall, the, the, the possibilities are absolutely endless. Um, I think it was the Rise of the Attractions looping group could invest in straight amount of theme park. I think that was the video that I sort of uh, talked about the uh, factory coaster in the uh, the spots where currently we've got Pirates Adventure occupying it. Um, so overall, the Pirates Adventure site possibly for a factory coaster by Sam Pearl with a pirate theme. Overall. I'd take that any day of the week. Completely and utterly take that any day of the week. And I think that overall, Drayton Manor's future from from this site and the rest of them are definitely very, very exciting. There was sort of extra little bits of information that was sort of given at the side of it. Obviously, we spoke about, um, you know, we, we spoke about uh, Thomas Land a bit. We spoke about that and how uh, they were going to put in the Thomas Land attractions. You know, we had the Hetty's teacups, um, as well as the Thomas in 4D. Um, obviously, you know, the Hetty's teacups were supposed to be going in a space uh, that was now affected by the fire. Uh, and obviously, we had the Thomas in 4D, uh, which is replacing the Ice Age due to the licensing with the film expiring at the start of the previous season. Uh, but again, closed due to social distancing. Uh, so hopefully, it is better. Um, I did ask the inside source about Excalibur. I did ask about Excalibur and sort of what the plans are for that maybe. Um, now, I did ask about that and they said, um, if they're being completely honest, they don't believe there's any plans to do anything with Excalibur other than strip it all down, fill it in and perhaps start again with fresh foundations for a flat ride. And they sort of, you know sort of confirm that by saying the sites for development over the next five years are G-Force Site, Wave Swinger and Disco, Splash Canyon Reopen, Apocalypse and Pandemonium Redevelopment, unknown at this point, Pirates Adventure, the Factory Coaster, and the Grass Site over by Buffalo, where Vertigo was. All these can take, expect to take place over the next few years. And when I was asking about the grass space around the Buffalo uh, and Vertigo area, um... You know, they're expecting to create... I think the best option, according to the source, would be to create some sort of flat ride package of around three or four attractions. But you know what? That's fair enough. That's, that's That'd be great for the park. Another few flat rides to add to the lineup. Um, but he thinks with the potential runner-up attractions that's coming to the park over the next few years, they definitely put the thrill back into Family Thrill, make it a great tourist destination. And it's very important to note this, actually. This is an extra bit of information. Looping's Group's flagship park, that is going to be Drayton Manor, has done a lot of favours as they're investing £5 million a year for the next five years and then going down to £3.5 million a year after that. And that's purely for future ride investment, nothing else. So now we've sort of, as fans, we've potentially got a budget year upon year as to what we could see at Drayton Manor. £3.5 million a year on just ride investment every year after those next five years with £5 million. Um, this is definitely exciting stuff so overall honestly i'm just i'm so so happy about this now i know what you guys are thinking what about pandemonium apocalypse where are they gonna go well the little the source the inside source can confirm that pandemonium is going to another looping group park not sure which one um, but I'm sure we can have a guess ourselves in the theme park, theme park community in the comments down below. I've said it should go to Pleasurewood Hills. I'm sure you guys can think of other parks as well. Uh, now, Apocalypse. Apparently the Looping Group have never liked Apocalypse. And they want to try and get rid of it as soon as possible because of the, uh, the upkeep costs, the safety. Or simply because it doesn't align with their family themed values. So, whether Apocalypse goes to a different park in the UK or abroad is a completely different story. However, once we get any confirmation about Apocalypse's future officially from the park and officially from the looping group, then we'll start to do a prediction video as to where I think Apocalypse could go in the next few years to a different park around the world. Um, but some extra little bits of information there just to share with you guys. Uh, but they are trying. Honestly, the big story here is that they are trying um, with a brighter future. Now, now they've got a brighter future, they're reinventing ourselves um, as a competitor to Poltons and Creeley. They're, they're completely reinventing themselves to compete with Poltons Park and Creeley theme parks. So, you know, that's incredible competition. And you know what? Overall, Drayton Manor really does have a bright, bright future with the Looping Group. 
So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seekers of all ages. That is my thoughts on Drake Manor's potential next five-year development. Obviously, this is just rumours from an inside source, and a quote inside source. Um, obviously, we don't confirm anything at this stage, but I'll tell you what, maybe a coaster where Apocalypse and a Pandemonium is now. Uh, Pirates Adventure being done into a coaster. Splash Canyon open under a new lease of life. Uh, that area being redone as well with paint jobs to Shockwave, etc. Um, obviously, you know, the Vertigo site, maybe three or four flat rides there. Maybe Excalibur gets done at after a few years has gone away. Maybe Excalibur's next in line for the next few years, going from 2026 to 2030, maybe. Um, so we don't know, really. And, of course, we've got that budget now as well. Five million a year for the next five years. And then, afterwards, it'll be three and a half million a year on ride investments. So it could range from anything to one to a few attractions. But I'll tell you something now. I'm excited to see what they could add to this park beyond the next five years. Never mind just this next five years. Uh, so obviously we can't confirm anything at this stage. However, I swear to God, this is going to be brilliant. So thank you very much, guys. Massive shout out, by the way, to the inside source for sending me all that information. Obviously we can't confirm anything. Take with a pinch of salt, but I'll tell you something now. From that information that I've got from the inside source, again, massive shout out to him. Um, I, I, honestly, I'm so excited for the future of Drake Manor. I can't wait to cover all of it here on the channel. Uh, but thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more theme park news and updates coming. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell. Keep it on the coast of life. And I'll see you guys next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a thrill-tastic day.